Hello, and welcome back to Factory Town. In our last episode, we finished up with the uh, warm cloaks and brought them all, all three of these uh, cloth-based items, to a station and are shipping them into the base. And into, well, not to the base, but to the general store, where we now have happiness pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. Um, but we're going to need to continue boosting things. We also disconnected some of this little bit here, uh, but we have more to delete because I forgot to come over here and finish deleting it. But before we do that, let's uh, take a look at how this worked out. I disconnected it uh, from the source uh, firestones, and so I think everything is good now. Uh, mana pipe overlay. It might actually be too full. I think it's too full. Yeah, it's too full. Doggone it. Pull some of those off. Okay, I think that's better. And um, we'll just uh, store these up for something later, I guess. Not sure. I just I did disconnect it from down here though, so at least it's not uh, causing problems anymore. But um, I did notice something or I want to talk about something before we get started. So on every building now, there is this Omni Stone upgrade. So I went looking on the wiki for what other upgrades we're going to have or boosts or whatever. Because it's on, it's on, it looks like it's on every single building. Maybe not the school. Even the school. It's on everything. So it that is a hassle. <laughs> Because that changes everything, everything we've done. So I went looking for on the wiki for a, uh, a detail of all the upgrades that are available to the game. And I found one. Uh, it's called Production Speed Bonuses. So let's pick a random building here, maybe like a workshop. So a workshop, or er, bonuses come in two categories. There's the global boosts and there's per building boosts. So the global productivity boost is 100%. That's that's the the number that's here before you do any selling at any of the shops. That's the difference between this happiness number here and the speed here. That's 100%. That's just the default productivity of the game. Uh, global. And then there are two more global boosts. There's this, this additional happiness boost here, which goes up to 300%. So that makes a total speed of 400%. And then there is, oh, we just, wow, we just hit, we just hit the next threshold. Look at that. And then there's the, um, and then there's the, then there's a global production bonus, which we don't have available to us yet because it is available here at the Omni Temple. Uh, yeah, at the Omni Temple. So we, we need to get this continue we need to continue our research here um so that's the global production boost so that ends up so you, end up, you add all three of those numbers together 100 plus 300 eventually for the happiness plus 25 for the global uh and apparently you can increase that global production bonus as well so at the omni temple so we're gonna have to figure all that out and then uh, there are per building boosts, with which are the rest of these. So there's the uh, there's extra workers, which we're not going to put any extra workers in. Um, any buildings except for farms and mines, where they actually give you a, a increase. Um, so then we have a steam. Steam power boost, which is which is here, that gives us 50%. We have a 100% elemental boost, uh, varying based on the element. And then we have a 40% Omni Stone boost, which is also upgradable at the Omni Temple. Up, yeah, upgradable at the Omni Temple, which, which increases this even more. So what I think I want to do is figure out how many of the global production boosts we want, and how many of the Omni production boosts we want, and then redo all of my math based on all of that so i'm going to continue building what i have 
But I'm going to focus actually on building or doing this research first. Um, because worst case, I just have to downsize a little bit. Maybe do a little bit of rearranging of chutes and pipes. Maybe not boost everything like I thought I was going to with the elements or the steam. But I think it'll end up being roughly the same amount of buildings. It'll just be less uh, less impactful boosting. So hopefully. So uh, what I want to do here is take out some of these Omni Stones. Down a ways here. And come across a bit here. Not that way, por favor. And then come across a bit this way. Getting into the cliff line here. And then come across this way. I guess I probably could have just kept coming across under that other belt, but I was afraid I was gonna hit it here, which I'm not. Doesn't matter. This is only a temporary belt anyway to get them here to the school. And I'm way too high. Bring that down like this and to the school. And then we'll uh, use those up. We need 10 Omni Stones. I'm sorry, fifth, one Omni Stone for every percent. So 100 total Omni Stones, which is, I think it's fine to run them on a, on a one per second belt here. Uh, because that's going to take a while anyway, since it's 30 seconds times seven or divided by seven uh for the speed anyways so it'll be fine and it uses a crap ton of purple coins which we have a crap ton so i think we're okay but i want to get some of this this omni stuff yeah we're, we're building up omni stone so i want to get some of this omni stuff researched uh starting with the omni pipe transmission so we can replace this belt with a pipe or make the omni pipes of course and then uh we can also research these others and then this is unlocked by unlocking all four temples so we've got a little bit of work to do oh we need to bring more stones in here too for this one lovely all right so we have that i wonder if i can probably disconnect this now and let the belt drain out because we have 20 plus whatever's on the belt plus the 11 we've already done so maybe that's, that's still the, the awesome, most awesome building so far in the game, by far. Okay, so we've done everything we needed to do for the general store. We have everything being made, everything being brought into the store now. Uh, everyone's pretty happy with everything. We might need a little bit more in these categories. We might need more in these categories too, but it's hard to say depending on when the train arrived. Um, but it's almost guaranteed we're going to need more of the of the cloth based stuff the oh in the leather i can fix that one easily where is the train that's hauling the leather this is the shirt cloak one this one yes this one when this gets closer to its station so that its tail oh its tail's gone now okay good i want to change this so we have leather uh leather not leather doesn't start with a k and then we have nail. Nail. And then shoe. And shoe. Of course, the reason being that I want to have uh, two of each boxcar. And some of the food might still be single. We did two there. Uh, we need to make sure, because we need to double, make sure we have two box cars for each item. Bread and eggs is good. Milk and butter is good because a tank car is twice the capacity of a box car. So milk and butter is good. And that's where I was talking about also maybe using the packagers. What else is there? Uh, meat. Cooked. That's mana bricks. Where's the cooked? Universe planks. Pickaxes. Where's the train that's carrying the cooked beef? There it is. Okay, we already did that one too. So it's just the one leather nail shoe. I think that might have been the first train we did. So that one needed to be upgraded. But everything else looks like it might be okay. Alright. And then... 
What did I want to do next? So we started, we finished up with the general store. So now we could work on the apothecary based stuff here. Why is that train going in there? Why are all the trains coming in here? Okay, let's put a sorter here and uh, do apothecary. Uh, no, what are they called? Omni Temple Offerings. Interesting. That's not what I want. Medicine. Okay, that's what it's called. That should fix, I think, everything turning. I don't know why they were turning, but... They should have been able to just go straight through, just like that. I guess I don't have a train station hooked up to this one yet. It's weird they weren't coming down here. Let's do this as well. This is going to be a problem. Anything coming from this way into the tavern... Oh no, that's just the bypass for the for the fuel train, which might not exist for very long. Let's do that, and let's change this to... Gourmet. Okay. So, anyway, so I did some of the math for the uh, for the apothecary items. Pull up my spreadsheet. I closed it earlier when I was there. I minimized it earlier when I was looking up the um, the info on the bonuses. So we have uh, we have a lot of categories to deal with. We're bringing in manually right now uh, to this apothecary to an apothecary. Where's my other apothecary at? Over here. We're bringing in bandages or something. Uh, no, we're bringing in medical wraps, really, and salve. So we have to take those out. Those are both coming from right in this area. Uh, we'll have to take those out eventually, but we need to rebuild them, obviously. So if we start at the top with Medical Wrap. Medical Wrap is a huge build, but we might be able to save some on it by using the trade at one of these. I did, I did find this and then I lost it again. Uh, one of these trading posts has a trade for Medical Wraps. This one is, no, this is Metal Wrap in. Didn't one of them have an output Metal Wrap? Or am I? This one outputs bandages, for, but for cure spell books, which seems, those seem like they might be expensive. I haven't done the math on them yet. This is what we want to do for the ointment, though. Uh, we wanted to, to do animal feed for ointment, I think. Ointment is uh, two kitchens, six kitchens total plus a farm in order to make two ointment per second. Uh, whereas I could make a farm and a grain mill and produce enough animal feed to make two ointment per second, I think. Uh, maybe. I could have sworn we had one, two, three, this one here. There's one. Wards. I haven't done the math for wards yet. Well, maybe we skip medical wraps then. Let's look at that ointment trade. I'll, I'll do the I'll do the math on the ward and uh, and before the next episode. So ointment is uh, four grain for an ointment. Ointment's going to require six kitchens and a farm to produce that much, whereas we'll need eight grain per second to make enough ointment per second. Eight grain per second is going to be. Oh, that's feed. I'm sorry. That's not grain. That's feed. Eight feed per second is going to be two... I just had it on my screen here. Two grain mills that are air boosted and two farms. Or one farm with 24 grain, effectively. So I think that's worth it to do the two grain mills and two farms. Kind of set up basically, basically this that we have here for... Uh, for the for the beef that's going into the pastures for the beef 
Actually, is that what I'm even looking at? It's not what I'm looking at, but you get the idea. Two grain mills make eight feet per second, which needs 16 grain, and we need eight feet per second to get two ointments. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and start there. Um, actually, maybe not. Maybe we will start slightly different because I think that something else, some other recipe, uses an ointment. I need to check. Antidote uses remedies in fish oil. Health potion uses remedies in juice. Elixir uses health potion and antidote. Actually, no, I don't think so. Oh, the medical rep used ointments. That's what else used ointments. So that would mean we would need to, to have twice as much uh, ointment being made because that also would need two ointments to make two medical wraps. I knew there was another ointment recipe, some or ointment used recipe. So what I'm going to do is start with the two grain mills and two farms, uh, making eight eight animal feed per uh, per second, and then if we need to, we could double that and make enough for the um, in order to make enough ointment to send to the medical wrap. I think that's the best way to do this. So let's take out all these trees, I think, and we'll do this over here in this remaining area. Goodbye trees. Goodbye trees. So, uh, as I record this, uh, the there was an announcement made by the developer of Factory Town that he's going to change the way that resources spawn. And that change is going to not affect the current game, which is awesome. Let's do a smooth down here. But it is going to affect new games in the way that the resources spawn and how we get to do some of this type of stuff of planting random stuff in random places and making everything happy. Uh, it's going to change that a little bit. So um, we're probably going to need... In future games, if you're watching this much later, you're probably going to need to do something different here. Than what I'm doing, but uh, for the purposes of this, I think we're okay. Let's um, is that flat? It is flat. Okay, so let's put a farm here. We, well, the other thing we could do is do what we've done with uh, the grain we've made, and just do one farm with 64 farm tiles connected to grain mills. Let's do that instead, because that seems to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more compact. Because, I mean, a farm has, if we used up all the tiles, it has 11 by 11 minus 9 available tiles. Well, maybe minus a little bit more, too. But uh, 11 times 11 is 121. Minus 9 is 112. So you could fit 112 tiles in one farm. So I think one farm with 64 tiles is better in this case than, uh, uh, than having two farms with 32 tiles. Because we can always do the uh, multiple shoots. So this is the same. That's a 44 across the back, and then 10 on each side here. Well, because this is like the 32 setup, and it's kind of a lot of wasted space. Uh, this is a little more compact, and I, so I think it's better. Oops, that's not what I wanted. But what is that? Oh, a bunch of menu options that I didn't know existed. Lovely. Okay. Um, I... Okay, and then grain. I don't suppose there's any grain nearby that hasn't been... Not that I couldn't have just gone into the menu and picked it, but... Alright. And then I think we're going to need to have two shoots. For this. Oh, and uh, someone asked in the chat about that tab, tab thing again. So if you're on the wood pillars, this uh, wood pillar scaffold context menu tooltip over here, unless you close it, which I don't, then I don't know how you get it back. But it's also here too. This allows you to tab between the objects that are here 
uh, in this tab section. So the chute doesn't have any, the belt doesn't have any, which would be nice maybe if you could tab between the different types of belts. But also the uh, scaffold block lets you ta tab between that and the ramp. So if you're looking to um, quickly switch back and forth between those different types of things, that is your option. Okay, that should go once we tell it to plant grain. And we'd have to also get fertilizer here um, in order to boost that up to the full production speed. Wait a minute, why did I do belts? That was dumb. Uh, this should be shoots. We can go at full speed. And this should be four workers total. And then these go into another shoot or parachutes that sends the uh, stuff over there. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a parachutes. Not a parachute, but a parachutes. I think we'll do elevated like this. And then we can do... I think I'll bring them together, but I think I'll just do it like this. This one can come like, well, I should, let's take this one like this, and then like this, and then like this. Not sure why they're going up there. Kind of weird. But we're making ointments, so that's good. And you can handle, I think we looked it up, is like 10 trades per second. So as long as we don't go obscene on this, we should be good. Which we're only doing two trades per second when we get to maximum speed. So, all right. So then we're going to need a train station out here and a train coming out here. Uh, let's do some of the scaffolding. Here. And then a train station, not grain, train, goes here. And then what I should have probably also always been doing with this, including the uh, stations in the base, is just using metal belts uh, just to make sure that the speed is fast enough. Because we're also going to have to have, oops, let's pause that. And do ointment. Ointment. We're also going to trade the uh, cakes here too, so we have to keep that in mind. Ointment, ointment. Uh, I'll turn these off for now. Oops. And then that'll go in there and be good to go. So then we need to have another scaffold block here. Here. And then rail. And then this will come down. I think we're going to go like this and then like this. And then come in this way. And we're going to do a sky connection here. Did I just? No. Okay, no. I did not. Uh, we need to have more, more sky, less ramp. Careful. much yeah too much now almost that's perfect the 
the nth time is charm. Okay, and this is going to come this way. Uh, not that far. There. Yes. And then this comes down and into there, like that. Okay, a pusher here. Let's, well, let's see. How? Well, this will work. Never mind. I was going to grumble that this wouldn't work, but that is going to work. You can have all these rails doing all kinds of crazy things. Sorter here that does uh, ointment only for now. This does ointment only for now. Train station, or the, yeah, the train station's doing good. And then we need another train. Uh, this is going to also have ointment added. As is, uh-oh, we've got problems. Well, you might as well continue, but I need to watch what comes up behind these guys. Why are you gaining on that one? That's weird. You have the same problem, right? You're going to turn this way. And you'll go down there and get your water from there. Why did you not get water from here? We're kind of low. We might need... Oh yeah, water's all jacked up. Wait. Oh wait, you're, yeah, you're a food train. Okay, that's fine. They're, they're struggling. Hardcore struggling. The problem is, is it's a compounding issue. It makes it worse the, uh, the longer it goes. Okay, like this one. This one's gonna slam into the back of that one and then cause problems. Well, let's let you go past. Uh-huh, I need more water at some of these. I need a third well. That's the problem. This needs to be a vertical pipe. Here. Not enough water to go around. I need you to wait. I get some water supplied up here. There's a lot of trains that go down this run. And, uh... Yeah. And you need to stop for a minute. Two trains stopped. Count them. <laughs> Keep track. Almost enough water. We'll wait till we get 40 in here. Okay. You can go. One train stopped now. That one just ran out of water, too. And then when they start ramming into each other like that, then they burn through it like crazy, which is insane. That's the way that it works. Where are you going? Pickaxes. Okay. I don't know how long I should wait. Are we safe now? Two trains stop still.
you're going. What axes and cooked fish? One train stop now. I can probably free that one up. But this one needs to be stopped. And now this one also needs to be stopped. The struggle is real. Okay, we might have fixed all the complaining trainees now. Might. Okay, well, now we need another train for whatever that we just did. Ointment, that's what it was. Alright, so, uh, steam locomotive. Uh, ointment might be tank horrible. No, it's not. It was the weird one that's not. Where the remedy is, but ointment is not. Antidote. Yep. Okay. It is not. Delete. Two box cars it is. Uh, ointment. Ointment. Go. Engage. Yeah, see, we're low on water still. Hopefully we keep up with that. Otherwise, we might need a fourth well on some of these. That is... So that train should come all the way down here now. Waiting to turn. Waiting to turn. Uh, I missed this one. Oopsie. Flip. Go back that way. Flip. Come here. Ointment. Okay. Continue. And then you will turn here. Yep. And get your ointment. So now we need to... Well, actually, let's let it come back to the... Let's let it come in, into here and get its stuff. And then I'm going to go up to the base and set up the uh, ointment. To come into the uh, thing. And then we can actually disable that other one at some point. Ointment 50, ointment 50, excellent. Okay, back this way we come. Apothecary, okay, so let's see here. Wait a minute. Oh dear. That's not good. Okay, well, you know what I'm going to... Since all these trains came in here, they unloaded all their crap here for the general store instead. For some weird reason. And for a food market. So... Should I clean these out or just delete it? There's so many... Oh, that's where all the mana bricks went. So many mana bricks in here. I think I'm going to clean these out neatly. Uh, and then I'll also try and dismantle... This stuff here that we're no longer using with the wool, uh, wood, co uh, wool, the cloaks and warm coats, and uh, and we'll come back in the next episode with uh, with more work to do. Uh, before we leave, the Omni Stone Omni Pipe transmission is 88% done, but I ran out of stuff things, so let's also turn that back on and have that ready to go for uh, for next time. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you then. 
Bye for now.